Well, a triple crown for Ireland is in the bag, whatever happens in Paris this evening. Great moments for the players. You've got a lot of young players in there who haven't won a triple crown before. And there we go. Ireland's 12th in history, a first since 2018. Johnny Sexton's been there for a few. And for the players, Shane, you were there in 04 and there was huge excitement. Irish rugby has moved on a touch since then, but this isn't nothing, far from it. No, far from it, and they'll be delighted. And, um, you know, you asked before the break, uh, how will the Irish team feel about that performance? They won't be focused on performance, they'll be focused on results. And they got exactly the result that they wanted, and they'll celebrate it now, and they deserve to celebrate it. Um, and the last game of the Six Nations is generally the worst analysed game of all time because <laughs> nobody <laughs> looks at it. You know, we'll come yeah. back to that in yeah, the yeah. summer, but do we really come back to it? They might do a bit, but uh, you know, when you're in the Six Nations, you're, you're analysing the past game, looking forward to the next one. There is a little break now. They'll come back to it at some stage. But, um, and I think one of the key things that they will have gained, gleaned from it is they didn't deal with the way Scotland defended. If it's just Scotland didn't really put anyone in the rooks uh, unless they were going after the ball. They fanned out really well and um, they, um, you know, I, I made it difficult for Ireland to get their phase attack going. That's Ruth um, Wood. Ruth Wood Martin, Martin. yeah, dietitian. She's been with the team for. Well, since I was there, so she's been there a while. 50 years. <laughs> uh, and she, she's moving on after this game. She's done a huge amount of great work and a very popular figure within the squad, so we wish her very well. OK, absolutely. And I think Sexton Jr. was lifting it there as well. Is he a rugby player as well? Well, soon to be. Uh, <laughs> both Sexton Juniors there, Luca and Amy. It's, it's so nice for, for these guys. You know, they've played in empty stadiums yeah. for two years and... You know, when, when you lift trophies, you, you want to share it with mm. the fans, with mm. your family, with your loved ones. And, yeah. you know, that's what lifting trophies we, we have is all about. We have super high expectation for these guys and we want the best performance every time. And, and you know, to, to a certain extent, they will want that as well. But it's only won 11 Triple Crowns in, in the history of sure. this competition. It's been going on for a while. Yeah. You know, it's important and it will be important to those guys, no matter what they achieve in the game and some of them have achieved loads already Grand Slams um, 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 European Cups the whole shebang you know who knows what they'll do in the future but you know it's, it's everyone a likes a historic trophy yeah. isn't it it's a historic trophy for the players mm. yeah but for the, for the guys who are new into the team now and they haven't won a Grand Slam or a championship they have a small little taste of triple yeah. crown success yeah. you get greedy when you win you get greedy and you want more mm. and that won't be enough for them and when they come back next year they'll have their sets their sights set higher. Well, it's interesting. When we saw shots of Johnny Sexton there, I'd assumed, well, he's got two or three of these. He only has one from 2018, so this is just his second. Uh, you wouldn't believe how, you know, as, Ron, uh, as uh, Rob said there, how hungry players are for success, how hungry they are for trophies, and, and how you get them doesn't really matter. Okay. It's actually having the medal around your neck, having the, you know, lifting the trophy, having the memory with your friends. So they won't be concerned about performance today. They'll only be concerned about the fact that they'll have a story to tell and a, um, a trophy to share.